Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Rayal and I'm going to be finished up with Fae Farm today. Sorry this stream or this sorry this video is very very overdue. <laughs> I, I've been hanging on to this footage for about two weeks uh, discouraged because the audio in it completely messed up because my sound effects were way too loud. So I had to take my 45 minute video that I was originally going to make and turn it into an 18 minute video because I didn't want to talk for 45 minutes <laughs> explaining what this video is about. So we're just going to be doing an 18 minute voiceover instead. So in this video I went and I beat the volcano, um, the volcano dungeon here. Volcano Dungeon was very interesting and different from the, what is it, the Steam, I, I can't even think of the other dungeon's name, it's been a long time since I've played in that dungeon. <laughs> anyway, the mechanics are a lot different in this one, so the floors will fall out beneath you, you have to traverse the, um, the, the, the lava floors pretty much without falling in, and you have to find these little blue uh, fire orbs to light the pedestals in order to get to the next door. So you go around and you break whatever you can to find the little blue orb to take to the pedestal. It has a duration on it, so it will burn out eventually. And once you do find one, you you get a little marker saying where you take it. There's little blue flames along the way that you can relight your flame orb to keep it lit long enough to take to the pedestal light that and to open up the next door to the next level. I went ahead and just showed you one floor instead of, you know, get, getting too too in-depth with what each floor is because I think the floors change every time you come into the dungeon, so they're never going to be the same. But yeah, once you get to floor 25, you'll then talk to the sprite that is basically causing the volcano to to overheat and endanger the fairies of this land and we were asked to go and deal with this sprite so the fairy at the at the bottom of the volcano can still live in peace but he says you really came can't you feel my flame and it's flambo the fire spirit i hate this place it's way too small i want to smash and break it down I'm Flambo, Sprite of Fire and Ash. This is my house, and it was perfect until it wasn't, and I'm furious about it. <laughs> ah, it feels so good to bash about and have a good scream. The spirit, uh, kind of reminds me of my children. <laughs> I'll never stop smashing things and yelling, not even if you bring me goodies that I can make into a delicious meal. Did you hear me? Bring me something. I am hungry. So basically, like all the other sprites, you bring him some nice tasty food, he bakes a meal, and then he is calm and collected, and we can move on with the story. I don't remember everything that we had to feed him, but there's the requirements of the quest. You just bring him all of those delicious treats, and he will finally calm down. I hope you like it hot, because I burn a lot. <laughs> The spicy encounter has been completed. Spicy encounter. <laughs> Where is my yummy lunch? I want something that satisfies. Yep, so we fed you lunch. Yes, you're a little bit rude. Rude? How is it rude to order someone around? It's very rude. Of course, little children do not understand that these days. Maybe I'm feeling alone and hungry. I could tone it down a bit, especially since you brought me tasty treats. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to dump all these ingredients into the lava lake to stew. Trust me, it's going to work. Come back tomorrow and I'll see about cooling down a bit. So we're just going to go rest for the evening and upon my arrival, Flamo had calmed down quite a bit. The little hugs is so cute from the little fire spirit. <laughs> the food has stewed and Flamo ate until no more would fit. I watched as the sprite tried to calm down the lava. A wisp of smoke was all that was left of the raging magma. Unfortunately, the volcano wasn't ready to quit. I had to hold Flambo back from trying to fight it. I showed them the magical staff and they understood what to do. 
I held up my staff and the bash spell became imbued. We bashed the rocks, me and Flammo. <laughs> Soon they had to put a lid on this volcano. The heat subsided and all was well. There's a little fairy, fairy was saved. <laughs> Flemo told me to expect the Wisp Mother, for she had a story to tell. And now we have learned the Bash Spell. The, the Bash Spell is the final spell of your wand, and what you do is you take it to these little volcano rocks, and you can clear away the rocks that is what I thought was blocking another dungeon, was not blocking a dungeon. In fact, it hides little treasures like all of these, um, all these gems that you see here um to uh each of them holds about two recipes this one obviously held um, the secret to the snow farm which is the last farm that you unlock in this game and you also have to clear you know the little the little magma fighters with the charm spell but this one right here is going to have two recipes and i think there was about four i want to say four or maybe five that each had two recipes behind it. So that was a nice little surprise. I was not expecting recipes to be behind here, but I think I got recipes like the ice path, which is really nice. It only takes stone to make the ice path. It doesn't take snowflakes or, you know, ice or whatever. But here is the Wisp Mother. She was telling us that she was a mortal once in her previous life, which I'm very curious about. I wish we could have learn more about her mortal life. I, I was very curious indeed. But she doesn't really talk too much about it. She says she was an adventurer like me. But then you talk to her and she's got another quest for you. She wants you to go catch some warm critters to try to warm up the rest of the island. So um, I caught the red fireflies, but I think any critter that is red will count as a warm critter. And you can find them in the snow area or around the volcano. I caught these, um, I don't know if they're volcano dragonflies, but I caught the red dragonflies and they counted towards the quest. Once you're done, you just go take that back to her. You get a warming roundup complete. I knew I can count on you, Miss Nergo. There's warmth will balance out the island. However, did you manage to calm Flemo? Once they get going, it's really hard for them to stop. Yes, I did. A warm meal, of course. A hunger left unchecked can often lead to someone lashing out. Thank you again for treating the sprites with a gentle hand. A lesser spirit would have simply attacked them. Uh, I can feel their magic coming from their, your magical staff. Did they share it with you? I see that you have had several spells saved, and you've been using them diligently. Yep. I have cleared out all the special hidden spots of this island. <laughs> it's been a while since I've handled such magical, powerful magic. Maybe someday I will again, but I rather prefer building and growing to destroying things. Sorry, I was thinking of another life. See, this is what makes me curious. It's like, what did she do in her other life that she destroyed stuff? Now that you have calmed down the spirits, the magic that once ran afoul on our dear island has been restored. Perhaps now that you can perhaps now you can have them calm from me like you've always wanted. Before I forget, you should check on Igni. I'm sure she'll ha be happy to learn that her home is no longer in danger. I know I'm repeating myself, but I it's really been a joy to have you on our island, Mr. Ego. You are now a true Aorzean. Azorian Aorzean. Oh my gosh. Bob 14 Aorzean. <laughs> so we're gonna go talk to Igni. She's like, what's up? Uh, I'm starting to learn the language of the little suit critters by the volcano. They call me a large bird, I think. She's really cute. You're back. I see. Did I see you on top of the volcano? Yep, that was me. That might have been the coolest thing I've ever seen. You're just out there saving lives and bashing rocks. Like, how do you? How could anyone be so cool? You should like move in around here. Then we could be neighbors, or not. You've got your own thing going, and I respect that. 
But for real, thanks again for letting the volcano to chill, Miss Nariko. All of Zoria owes you one. The whole pile of thanks should be heading your way. <laughs> oh, he should go see the Marquis. Maybe he'll have may have a parade ready or maybe a large cake with your face on it. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound a little bit stopped up during all of this. It's not the best time of season <laughs> as we get close to Thanksgiving here. It's been very cold in Oklahoma. But we're going to go all the way back up to the Marquis, turn in our final quest. Hmm, the temperature of the island seems to have rebalanced itself, thank the muses. We are now friends, yay! Redeem quest, chapter 7 complete. Oh, not the last, sorry, there's chapter 8. Oh, Miss Nergo, you have returned. So, it was another sprite causing, yep. That makes sense, considering what havoc the other three caused. The Wisp Mother says that they'll behave from now on. Hmm, I will believe that when I see it. Well, now that the Miasma is gone and the fake gate is open, I'm busier than ever, so if you'll excuse me. Yeah, is there something I'm forgetting? Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> it's like, it was like a thank you, it was like an afterthought. Oh, yes, by the way, thank you for saving our island. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, we got our hot gossip, and that was... So we got our chapter 7 complete. To get chapter 8, you just have to go sleep for the night. And then you get another final cutscene. As we're tucked cozy in our beds, has a sleep for now for you accomplished much. There's more to come, but it won't be so tough. Come find me when you wake. There's something special I want you to take. Chapter 8. <laughs> so there's supposed to be DLC for the Switch version. I'm very curious what it is. I think this has some premonition of what is coming in the uh, in the DLC. Because she gave us a letter. Well, okay, she gives us a letter after this. So she says, so proud of you, Miss Nergo. You become the hero of Zoria. But Azoria shouldn't have needed a hero, and I'll live with the shame of staying away for too long. I didn't realize that my absence would cause magic to run wild and cut Azoria off from the world. Thank you, Miss Nerigo. Azoria and I are better for having met you. And thank you for being so kind to my spirits. I'll do a better job of keeping an eye on them. Well, I have one more favor to ask, and I promise it'll be my last. Would you help me grow one of final gift for Azoria? I just need a few ingredients. So her few ingredients was a bunch of polished gems, which I had most of them anyway. I think I had to go get some diamonds. And that was it. Either diamonds or obsidian, but yeah. So let me just come back with those. So here is the, the mail that I was talking about. She gives you a, a letter saying that she has an old recipe for a staff that she wants us to have. She said, please come and visit me. And then the the party. So there's a party for all Azorians for basically beating the game. And you have to sleep to get that scene as well. So once I go and visit her, I give her the polished gems that she wanted. And then that is chapter 8 complete. Thank you, Miss Nergo. Before I do something for Azoria, I'd like to do something for you. There's a farm that's tucked away by the volcano. It's yours to do with as you please. So yeah, that's the um, frozen farm that we discovered when we used our bash bell to break away the rock that was blocking it. Join me with the rest of Azoria tomorrow morning and you'll see my final gift. We got a new house plot. And then chapter 8 complete! Yay! That's the end of the game! It's such a lee. And we got an island celebration, which once you... Yeah, I was confused here about <laughs> my staff. But once you go to sleep, then the Azorians gather two halves of the island reunited at last. <laughs> They're having such a fantastic little party. And I'm in my mysterious cloaked armor. <laughs> 
Lewis' mother introduced herself and explained what had happened in Azoria's past. But she didn't explain to me. I would like to know why she was gone for so long. She promised to watch over the sprites, spirits, no sprites, and bring luck back again. The clover started to fall like a gentle green rain. I should have known when I set off in my boat that my life would never be the same. I think there was one of the cutscenes that might have actually skipped through, but anyway. So these are the credits. There's nothing after the credits. I waited the entire thing trying to find out if there was, there was not. You basically just wake up the next morning, you're back in your home, and you can continue playing the game however you see fit after that. Uh, so I'm working on a a Christmas themed uh, snow home. Little, I guess, yeah, island. <laughs> I want to say island, it's not an island, but. So you can find this uh, snowman recipe, you can find snowflake recipes, you can find ice paths and snow paths. And so I am going to put together a little Christmas theme just for Christmas that I'm going to showcase to you guys. So look forward to that. I've been farming a lot to get ready for it. <laughs> like a lot because the trees they have a, a, a respawn timer it's like three days so I've been using one of my farms as a tree farm essentially to get them faster but that is it for Fay Farm that is the end for this video if you did like this video you want to see more I will be posting more maybe not Fay Farm videos but I will be posting a new series going to be Dragon Quest Treasures it releases December 1st I think so if you would like to watch that, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.